The one-bedroom structure was handed over to Johannes by Onipa constituency councillor Vilo Nunyango. The idea of raising funds to erect a dwelling for Johannes, who was born without limbs, was spearheaded by Omi Gottlieb from Vintuk. Johannes and her siblings were sleeping in a rundown, overcrowded room, which touched the hearts of many who then raised money to erect a house for her. She is in grade 5 at Nina Private School, and her principal describes her as a brilliant learner who does not allow her disability to hold her back. Despite her disabilities, she's quite a gifted child. Uh, in class, you know, she's someone you don't always assist as such. I remember very well there was a, a friend of hers who used to carry her, to put her on the chair, carry her when it was break time, they would come outside. Unfortunately, she got transferred. The father came and uh, got the transfer for her. She's in window now. But as for now, I think she's doing most of the things on her own. Like you saw there, she can write, she can read, she can do all the, 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 the schoolwork on her own. Johannes is the last born of Hilma Mukeshe, a single mother of 10. Her mother is happy that plans are underway to get her daughter a bed, mattress and blankets that she will use in a newly built structure. Johannes is now going through physiotherapy where she receives training on how to use artificial limbs. Currently, peers carry her on their back to and from school, that is, unless she is picked up or dropped off by her teachers or school principal in their vehicles. Johannes resides at Omundungilo village in Onipa constituency of the Oshikoto region.